Hello people, welcome to Gurukula. I'm Jai. So today in this video, we will be talking about local file inclusion, which is abbreviated as LFI. So without wasting much of your time, let's get into the topic. So if you have directly landed onto this particular video, I would like to let you know that this is a series of video lectures where we are discussing various vulnerabilities of web applications. And in the previous video, we have spoke a lot about what is cross-site request forgery, which is CSERF, and we have actually shown a walkthrough of how a cross-site request forgery is being done. I will give you the link for the complete playlist in the description box below and I would like you to check that out. So this video is all about, uh, first of all, we, we are about to understand what local file inclusion vulnerability is and then we will try to exploit the LFI vulnerability in DVWA web application using local file inclusion vulnerability we can actually read the contents of uh, ATC password which is a sensitive file in any system and we can also read the contents of the database so that we can reveal the users and then their passwords in the uh, that, that are stored in the database and then finally we will also see the DVWA challenge itself where we are supposed to read the five codes hidden in the web application and finally we will conclude the video by discussing the defensive techniques to mitigate LFI and RFI. Here RFI might be a new word which is nothing but it is remote file inclusion though we will be discussing remote file inclusion in the next video. Uh, the defensive mechanism more or less is the same for LSI and RF as well as the RFI. So what exactly local file inclusion is? So LFI is a type of web vulnerability that actually allows an attacker to include files that are locally stored onto the server uh, like we have slash etc slash password that is actually a file which contains the password for all the users present in the system and similarly every database will have a uh, file which contains the critical information of each and every users or the web application will use to fetch the information. So these are all stored as file in any server. So LFI will allow attacker to include these files uh, in the request and then it can be displayed in the web application itself so that um, the sensitive information may get revealed. So LFI allows an attacker to trick the web application by exposing or executing files that are not intended to be accessible by the normal users. When I say the files that are not intended to be accessible by the users, it includes uh, reading sensitive files like password files or the database files and displaying the contents of the configuration file because by looking into the configuration file we can actually see how the web application or the server is configured and we can take advantage of any vulnerability which is present in that configuration and finally we can also execute any arbitrary code so these are all the critical vulnerabilities which can be exploited by using uh, local file inclusion. So when I say critical files, there are certain files which are stored in the web servers and here is why these files should not be accessed by any web application through any sort of vulnerabilities. So first comes the configuration files which actually contains the database credentials and then the API keys. Usually these configuration files will be stored at this particular areas and as a secure practice there might be some developers who can move these files to some other location for considering the safety practices and database files is the another area of interest where attackers would be interested to look into it because this contains all the data used by the application including potentially sensitive user data so source code files this is a very important file that catches the interest of any attacker because um, by looking into the source code of any web application we can actually understand how the web application behaves and we can create our own exploit based on the source code and there are a few more files which an attacker might be interested in out of which a log file is one among them because if there is an any event that is happening on the system or web application each and every event will be recorded as a log file. When there is an attack happening an attacker will take all necessary actions to clear out their tracks. So he might be interested in finding out the log files and he will erase all the tracks which has been recorded in that particular log files and system files is pretty much important files 
because this is where actually the passwords for each and every user will be present and also this gives us much more information about to which group the users belongs to so that the attacker can create a malicious user into the system or into the web application and he can also put him into the same user group so that he will get the same privileges so with this i think we can move on to the to our web application and then we will see how to perform um, local file inclusion vulnerability so here is our web application up and running i have already fired on the apache server and as well as the database and as you can look at here i have set the security level to low and then now we are discussing about this particular vulnerability which is file inclusion so when you look at this file inclusion this is the actual page which is uh, loaded onto this particular web uh, site so when you click on file 1.php um, it is just actually bringing in some information which is present in this particular file so when you see how this particular information has been brought when you look at the information present here when you look at the url which is present here you can actually see that this is actually loading a page and then it has the it says that from where the file has to be fetched in and when you can actually see that when i click on second file it just fetches the file too so this is actually fetching file whatever been presented over here and then when i click on back and then if i click on file 3 it shows some content and then it shows that what is our ip welcome back admin and all those stuffs so what happens here is whatever the file it has to be fetched it is passed on the url so whatever the page the web application has to be fetched it is mentioned in the url so here is where the attacker will be interested to fetch some pages like this so when i click on file 4 and then hit enter and then it is actually bringing in some other pages so it actually says it, this is an hidden file which is not mentioned in the web application but still we can able to get that particular file so this is what something we call it as path traversal where we can actually traverse around and then we can see some directories over here so this isn't listed on dwwa but if you read this you did something right yeah we have actually included some malicious file over there and then if we can keep changing what happens if we go next and yeah uh, file 5 is not available in the structure so file 5 is not been done so the key thing is we can actually load the file here and then whatever that we load here this particular file is going to be displayed on to our web application so now before actually we pass the files here we will i would like to show you where exactly that etc password files will look like so we can actually see the contents of slash etc slash password so i can simply use a cat command so that it types in so this is how actually the password file will look like as you can see that this uh, these are all the contents of the password of the users present in this particular system so i will tell you how to read this particular information this is not an um, direct measurement it, it 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 actually has seven uh, segments in it each and every segment will have their own meaning so what i will do is i instead of fetching i will go to file inclusion and then when i click on file 1.php it is actually fetching file 1.php now instead of file 1.php i can ask my web application to fetch slash etc slash password so let us see how it is being done now actually if you see that this particular content have been displayed over here and you can see the content will be more or less the similar one so it, it is actually revealing the passwords of the root so this is what something we call it as local file inclusion which means the password file which is locally present in our web server or in this particular system can be fetched by using the url or by manipulating the url so that is what we call it as local file inclusion vulnerability if this particular application is having access to slash etc slash password it can actually able to fetch the information for us so any so any user who is using this particular web application will now know what is the password who are all the users present over here and then we can also see how the database can be read so what we can do is we can just clear this out i will just show you how the database file will look like i'll just clear it out and then we will see where it is and this is where the database entries will look like and this is how the database entries will look like where it contains all the users and then the password 
now we will try to pass the same file we will try to pass this file location so instead of page so whatever I type in here it is going to fetch that page so I just typed in and then yes I have got an output here so here in this particular case your web application has actually fetched let me maximize this for better visibility so here what we are doing is we have actually got the output like this so when you can see over here it actually says that the first uh, column is user id so there is an actually table it is in the form of table because it is in the sql uh, thing which means it is an database format it will be maintained as a table so the first one has the first name and then followed by the last name and then the username and then it is mentioned as password and finally it carries their own avatar so when you look at the entries here the first user that is the id and then his first name is admin last name is admin and then username is also admin and now comes the password before the passwords are saved as md5 here you can see the actual password this is the password what we use to log in to our web application admin and then the password and similarly you can see there are four more users present in this particular web application and their password is also revealed over here so this is the sensitivity or criticality of any file inclusion attack local file inclusion so if this particular dvwa is uh, if the user input is not properly sanitized or if it is not properly validated it can able to fetch any information now let me look at the dvwa challenge itself what it is asking us to do so so this particular challenge okay the objective is to read all five famous code okay from this particular php file okay what i can do is now we know the technique whatever we just type in there it is going to fetch the content so instead of this particular page I want the hackable page to be fetched in when I hit enter ok nothing has happened uh, might be because single escape sequence will not be sufficient over here so what we can do is we can just keep on adding the escape sequences maybe I will add one more and then I will hit on enter yes now actually we can see the contents which has been fetched in fi.php which is present in hackable flags and fi.php so now we are actually including this particular file which is not a part of a original dvwa file this is present in somewhere this is present somewhere else this particular file is present in hackable folder that is not a part of dvwa but still we can able to access the content here so now this is line number one bond james bond that's the line number one and my name is sherlock holmes it's my business to know what other people doesn't know that's the second line third line is intentionally hidden and fourth line is um, the pool on the roof must have a leak so now we have read three statements out of five so there are two more statements which we have to read uh, statement number three and statement number five uh, let me see if I can find something in the page source itself so we can go to view page source so here in this page source yes here in this page source we can actually see the fifth line since it is commented it is not getting executed so I think we can just take out this comment okay that is not editable fine uh, somehow if you just take out that edit we can actually able to see the fifth line but somehow we have seen the fifth line over here but still the third line is hidden I think this is something uh, hidden from the server side itself this particular line is not visible from the server itself the server is itself hiding this particular line and I could also see there is a blank line next to it so this is something which we can reveal uh, by accessing the server itself so I think uh, revealing the third line we can see it in the next video that requires remote file injection so that we can reveal in the next video so that is all about the local file inclusion techniques so getting back to our presentation so I was telling you how to read the slash etc slash password file content so it actually contains uh, seven segments in total so this is your first segment that represents the root 
and second segment actually represents your password in case if it is mentioned as x it means that the password is being stored in some other location usually it would have been stored in slash etc slash shadow and the third segment represents the uid which is user id and if it is mentioned as zero any user who has an user id zero will be treated as super user that is the highest power that an user can have and the fourth segment is gid which is group id where zero represents the super user group you can create as many groups as you need and you can assign id according to the user group and then the fifth segment represents user information this is just an information to identify who exactly it is and then the sixth segment represents the home directory which is the home directory for this particular user for in our case for root we have a home directory as slash root and the seventh segment represents the login shell so these are all the seven segments which will be stored as a content in password file if a web application is having access to this particular file then this informations will be leaked out finally we can conclude this video by discussing the defensive techniques so there are few defensive techniques which help us to mitigate the local file inclusion so the first one is input validation and sanitation if the user input is not properly validated and if it is not properly sanitized it may lead to any information leakage or any critical attacks so second is to implement the secure crawling practices because while developing the web application itself there are secure techniques which can be implemented while developing the website itself third is to ensure proper server settings and do you remember in our first video we have just enabled allow url include and on allow f open is on so all these settings will allow us to include anything with the url so if those settings can be turned off in case if it is not necessary for that particular web application to function properly it is advisable to keep it off so you can turn on only the services which is required and which is mandatory for the successful functioning of the web application and you can restrict the directories that php can handle because here in our particular web application dwa is having access to slash etc folder as well so web applications usually it is advisable not to have access beyond its particular directory so ensuring strict file permissions so that web application do not have read or write privileges for any files that contains sensitive informations like password credit card numbers and then api keys or cryptographic keys uh, which will be useful for decrypting any encrypted traffic and next is to deploy uh, waf which is an web application firewall and lastly we can conduct regular security audits and penetration testing so as to check if our web application is functioning well and if there is any loopholes for the attacks so these are all the few defensive techniques which can be implemented so that the lfi and rfi vulnerabilities can be mitigated so in this particular video we have actually spoke um, an introduction about what local file inclusion is and we have actually exploited lfi vulnerability by using dwa so we have read the contents of password file and we have also read the database file where all the users and passwords were revealed and in dwa challenge is to read all five codes but we have read only four codes line number 3 is still pending i remember but that requires remote file injection which we will be discussing in the next video and finally we are closing our video by discussing defensive techniques to mitigate lfi and rfi so that's the end of this particular video and in the next video we will be talking about remote file inclusion attacks and there we will be revealing the third line of dwa challenge as well so i will close the video here i am going to see you in the next video until then it's bye from jai and happy learning